Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Taney Como. Jackson and I are going to do one cast today. It's Saturday. It's Sunday. Sunday the 3rd of September. <clears throat> They've been running three units. Really nice. Cleaned out the lake a little bit. Now they're shutting it down to one and then zero. It's about six in the evening. I boated up here to the tennis courts, right there. Trophy area. Be throwing a 32nd ounce black and sculpin jig. Two pound line. And I'm using a seven foot medium light trout panfish TFO. Oh, it says ultralight, sorry. Two to six pound, so it's fast. Sitting in the middle of the lake, I'm gonna fish the shallow side. Still a fair amount of current. They are still running a little bit of water. They have not shut it off yet. It ought to be really good fishing. I'd be really surprised if it wasn't. I don't think it might be a little bit early when they slow that water way down. Oop, there's a bite. When they slow the water da way down, that's when they really bite good until they shut it off and then, then they kind of quit. Unless you're using a zebra midge, which I used yesterday. It did really good up here. I'm fishing pretty much the same water when I'm fishing a jig instead because the water is moving. It ought to be really good. And I'm nothing on the first cast. I'm sitting in 10 foot of water. I'm probably fishing a little bit shallower water up there. I'm letting go to the bottom. Just kind of hopping it off the bottom a little bit and letting it fall back down. I'm gonna move a little bit closer to this. Shallow side. Now I'm in eight foot of water. Yeah, I have to say I'm surprised. I am watching my line for any kind of movement. I thought I saw something there. I'm 
throwing it up in pretty shallow water. Probably need to back off a little bit. There's a gravel bar shelf that comes out that I'm seeing out there, and it's pretty shallow now. Okay, let's try the other side real quick. six foot of water, but I'm throwing out in deeper. Yes, that's the fish though. Set the hook. That was kind of a half set, undecisive after I saw the line hop. That won't do. That might have been a fish. See if he comes back. Okay, I'm going to try something. Since they're not liking this 30 second ounce jig. Got two other rods. I've got a 16th ounce sculpin jig. Four pound line. Let's just see if they like a little different color and a little different action. I'll have to work this a little faster. I can see some midges hatching and skating across the surface of the water, drying their wings. I'm starting to see a few fish come up and eat those midges. And I just had to follow. You know what, it might be one of those evenings they don't want to commit. Feels like I picked up some moss. Oh yeah. One last cast and then I've got another jig that I want to try.
That was a fish. A little one. Okay, I'm still going to try this other. Okay, this is my 50th ounce on one pound line. Tempted to throw the other side. The water is starting to really slow down, especially over on this side. A really nice fish. Turn and look at my jig as it went by right there in front of the boat. A nice rainbow. He was eyeing it. Then he saw me and decided to go the other way. Oh, just had one swipe at it. Just not really committing to the jig yet. I'm gonna go the other side after this cast. Sitting in four foot. Ooh. That looked like a bite. You know, they're really hardly even midging right now, so I don't know if that's a sign. They're not feeding. Who knows? Because I'm not even getting, there's one bit. They're not even short biting me. Short striking. Well, we are 15 minutes in, first fish. Looks like this one survived a heron. Poke. See where he's been poked. 
he got away. Maybe as the water slows down, they might start biting a little better. Now they're starting to come up, come up in midge. See quite a few right out there. Boy, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shut the camera off for about 30 minutes. Come back here in 30 minutes and the water should be a lot slower. I need to reserve my battery life. We won't be able to film for like an hour and edit which I usually don't do anyhow but I'm gonna turn it back on when the water slows so I have um, stopped a couple places and tried it with very little success so I'm just above the um, River Point Estates boat ramp Uh, last ditch effort. I'm going to try here for a little bit. Not very long. Let this boat go by and drop my rod here. It's not very fast here at all. It's a lot deeper. I've let it sink a lot longer. This is actually the I like this water a lot better than that faster water up there. That's why. That's fish here. This is bigger than anything I caught up in the trophy area. I don't know how much battery I'm going to have. Hopefully enough to... Oh, crap. He came off. I think that was a pretty decent brown. Oh, I 
just missed another one. <laughs> I think I need to tighten my drag just a tad. When you go set the hook, you want it fairly tight so you can get a good hook set and then you can loosen it up if you get a big fish. Yeah, he's a little one. And he came off again. <laughs> hey, I'm hooking fish. First cast I didn't have light. Yeah. Saw that. Saw it hit. Saw him hit it on the drop. Let it go all the way to the bottom and then just kind of lift it up and let it drop back down real slow. You're not getting off too much at all off the bottom. And they're hitting it. But I think you have a, a really good chance for a big fish in here, like a big brown. Because they've been catching them in this area pretty often, mainly on the jerk baits, but they'll lose a jig. This is what they were doing the other night when I brought Marsha out. She'd throw out there and hook a fish and I had to, I got to help her take it off. By the time I got thrown back out, she's hooked another fish. That was a lot of fun. I really think they like it coming off the bottom. I think that's kind of part of the secret or part of the technique, is letting it go to the bottom and then when it comes off that bottom, they, they take note of that. They pick it up before it hits the bottom again.
came off. I didn't get a good hook set at all on that one. Almost getting too dark to see the the line. A little bigger fish. This is really borderline. I shouldn't be doing this, but <laughs> uh, one more time. Quit. Stop. I grab that hook, man. He's fat. Pretty rainbow. Last cast. Notice I didn't say one more fish. I've kind of slipped out here in deeper water. Yes, I am milking it. Huh. All right. Huh. One more cast. Hurry up and catch one before this pontoon goes in front of me. Yep. Maybe this is a brown. I haven't had a brown yet today. Nope. Oh, it's a rainbow and he's gone. Sure had a lot of them come off. Look sharp. One more cast. Excuse me, Jack. Camera seems like it's pointed down a little bit.
Okay. I hate, I love this condition right here. I mean, it's, it's really perfect. So I really hate to quit. <laughs> Popped it pretty good. It's a pretty one. Sorry, Jack. I know I said one more cast, about five casts to go, but dinner's just gonna have to wait. Ah, I think I just missed one. I think I know who that was, and I'm not going to embarrass him by saying who it was. It wasn't that bad. I don't, oh, I just missed one. It doesn't really affect the fishing any, for the most part. As you can tell, still getting bites. Okay, one more, sorry, this is it. Not apologizing. It's a beautiful sunset. I assume you can see that. It's a great evening to be out, my word. No bites. All right, that was fun. I'm glad I stopped and did the last segment. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.